Hello everyone. So the problem statement is to create the React calculator, which is consisting of following features such as addition, multiplication, subtraction, divide, clear, equals, and add multiply. So the tools that we are going to use here are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React Bootstrap, React Text Fit as libraries, uh, VS Code. These are the tools and and G github pages so these are the libraries that we are going to install that is bootstrap react bootstrap react G uh, github pages and react text fit let's move on to the, the project structure in the this is the main index.js file which is going to set the set the app uh, which is going to render the app functional component inside the root of index.html then let's move on to the app.js here we are going to uh, render various components such as header wrapper screen button box which we are going to we are able to see here as well so this is the button values as the button value array which consists of various buttons of calculator so we are rendering various components here in the app.js so first component is the header so components are nothing but the the part of the small part of the website which can be reused various times so that's why we have created a separate components folder which can be rendered anywhere such as here we are rendering in the app component so in the header.js let's move on to the header functional component in the header.js we are able to see that we are using react bootstrap to create the napper which which is consisting of napper icon as well as napper title then let's move on to the this part here we are using the calc provider and calc provider is present uh, in this calc context so basically calc provider is used when data needs to be accessible by many components at different nesting level so all so here what we are doing is we are creating the con context and export it as calc context and here we are setting up the we are using use state to setting up the initial values of sign, num, and response in an object. So useState is an object which consists of key value pairs, and these are the initial values of sign, which is the operator, num is the uh, number, and result is the zero. And this provider value will be sent as the prop to the various components. So these are the values which uh, needs to be rendered or used by various component functional components. So let's move on to app.js. Here we are able to see that we are using wrapper screen button box and various functional components so let's move on to the screen part so in this screen what we are going to do is we are using the context value calc and display the result or the value of the number in the calc text fit is the uh, react.js library which is used to condense the uh, uh, font size of the number within the given range of the screen uh, screen dimension so maximum range will be 70 and mode will be single so this is the screen.js let's move on to the app.js again so here we are using button box as a functional component uh, and then there is the, this is passed as the prop so here what we are doing is we are rendering this uh, button component which is mapping the button values with the of these uh, array so let's move on to the button component here in the button component we are uh, we are following the various operations for addition based on the uh, button click so this is the button based upon the uh, button clicked we are able to see here that we are handling various operations such as decimal click reset click sign click is for op operations for arithmetic operations or and this is equals click is to display the result percent click and invert click so if the uh, if the uh, if we click on decimal it will call this function decimal click so here we are able to see that this is the function to perform uh, perform this decimal click operation and there are various functions to perform various tasks such as reset click handle click button for numbering means adding these uh, numbers simultaneously in a string form then sign click for adding this string equals click and then percent click and invert click is for 
adding prefix as the plus or minus so these are the various functions that we are going to use here so this is the button and it is passed as a prop in the button box and this is the children as a prop which we are rendering here then let's move to f.js so these are the various functional component we are rendering last is the footer which is nothing but the bottom part of the website so this is the various functional component and the structure let's move on to the output part so here we are able to see this this is the calculator header this is one component and this is the main component which is the calculator so let's add one number 12 plus 4 which is equal to 16 in order to clear it reset it we click on ac in order to subtract 12 minus 6 we will get 6 as a result in order to reset we click on ac button 12 into 4 which is equal to 48 and in order to calculate the percentage we click on 12 percent which will be 0 0.12 and in order to perform with the minus sign we will be use 12 minus 12 plus 4 which is minus 8 and in, if we divide 9 divided by 3 we will get 3 but if we divide 9 divided by 0 it will give infinity so this is the various operations we can perform last operation that we can perform is 2.5 plus 1.2 which is equal to 3.7 so we can use decimal number as well for arithmetic operations thank you